they've got. And the audience has warmed up after all. Second in the European Championships, national champions of Germany. This is Aliona Savchenko and Bruno Masso of Germany. Triple twists are getting higher and higher. A soaring rendition of that element. Hey, excellent. Two triple toes in their jump sequence. And I personally really, really like this program. Lots of quirky original movement in the choreography. Aliona doing the double saco instead of the triple. That could be key. Forward inside death spiral. Changing hands. The feature. Transition into the lift. You're doing great, it's just the last bit now. Come on, come on. softness and grace and a breathing moment. We've left the th two triple throws towards the end of the program. Similar to the short program, Aliona landing on two feet. Let's go triple flip. rotations in one position as a feature in their side-by-side -side combo spin. A little bit loose on the unison. Gentlemen. And she nails it through triple taco.
Well, a good performance. But uh, it's definitely developing this couple, work in progress. You can see the relationship between them. That cool. There's a couple of mistakes, but it, it really is great to see how they're gelling together as a couple, as a team. And that you're in the last group. Little Once bits of mistakes, but hats off to Aliona Sachenko in particular. In There's still more in the tank. Indeed, there is a lot to admire in that routine. Aliona Savchenko and Bruno Masso of Germany. Yes, I'm so glad to see her back. Uh, I'm grateful to her for returning and going through the difficult process of finding a new partner, especially having had such a successful partnership with Robin Salkovy. As I said, I like the quirky choreography. I do think that perhaps musically, this, the music stays at the same level for perhaps too long, so it kind of runs flat towards the end, but... For me, it's different, it's unique, uh, and, and they've worked hard in this. It's a bit of a different concept. They could have done something much simpler. And a lot of the lines work. It's almost like dancing, isn't it? The way the choreography is working for them. They've obviously worked a lot at alignment. Yeah, definitely. And, and for me, I don't notice that there's that difference in technique. You would think she'd be so honed in her technique and her style, having had the same partner in Robin for so long. But he's come in here and done well in matching up to her. They'll have been in that mirror rink in Oberstdorf, which I yes. used to love. It's just a fantastic facility. Every rink should have a, a yeah. mirror facility, I think. Yeah, I think. Oh, can't height. No measure for the Ooh. height of these split <laughs> triple twists, but that looks to be the biggest. There was a hang before the catch, wasn't it? Definitely. Extraordinary. This was one of the highlights. The two triple toes of their jump sequence. She was a bit tight there. She, her experience help serve, serve her well on the landing of that first triple toe. And this is great angle, great camera angle, because yeah, there is a, a similar technique there. That was fabulous. Now she had, this was the mistake, throw triple loops really, two-footed. And that's been the same all week in practice as it was in the short. And we talked about the, the height of that jump being difficult to control. And interestingly, Aliona did work on throw triple axle when she was with Robin. So you can only assume that now, as this team spends more time training together, that we can expect to see the likes of either the throw triple axle or indeed throw quads happening next season. Alexander Koenig, Jean-Francois Balaste. The score, please. Coaching team. Sanchenko and Bruno Masso from Germany. 214.42, the, the talent free skate top score. highest they've got. Will they beat that? Well, they have beaten it, so they've got higher than they've ever got. It has them in third place at the moment, be behind Duhamel Radford, Sue and Hans.